we are sure that it will fit so now take it out and you will have some some uh, protective cover and remove this and apply some thermal paste I like applying the thermal paste with my hand because I can be sure it's uh, I will put on every surface be careful with the electronics not to touch with the thermal paste the electronics of, of the motherboard or some uh, other cards from your computer and now we have consummated the whole thermal paste tube from Cooler Master and the paste it's on all surfaces is not a big layer of thermal paste is just perfect and we will be sure that it will be fitted perfectly to transfer all the heating from the CPU to, to this uh, this unit it's best for you to wash your hands when you do this I uh, <laughs> washed but this thermal paste it just uh, doesn't come off that easily so now put in the hole screws to tie it evenly on all four sides now the connections this is the fan so the fan you have to connect it with the four pins and here is the three pins of the pump so um, I have it in the main board just there the CPU and the CPU operational fan so now the coolers looks good and if you see guys it's perfectly mounted here and with this evacuation the heat will be more evacuated it doesn't look good I know but if you if you want a performance you got to make sacrifices so I sacrifice my uh, PC case so for you to make a efficient uh, overclock for your CPU your 5820k you must go and I managed to make a stable uh, optimization rise to 100.5 go to one core ratio and put 33 and you will have the processor 4321 megahertz now and let's boost up the DRAM efficiency so now go at the RAM frequency and select I selected 2679 for boosted my memory uh, extreme tweaking enabled power saving you want to power save your uh, um, your system even if it's uh, even if it's uh, overclocked and now VR arm spread spectrum enable it because it will enhance your system stability and now extreme extreme 140 140 everything at 140 this one uh, I don't give to 240 because uh, I didn't get stability at that frequency extreme to DRAM extreme <coughs> so uh, leave this fully manual mode enabled and you will have auto to these functions next at the advanced mode at the CPU be be careful to be enabled the turbo mode turbo mode sorry the active processor all of them okay the PCI Express is gen 1 is uh, 3.0 x 60 is the first port but uh, as a trouble you see I have image and I have all and at the tool at the Google post it doesn't see me the x60 the PCI slot number one so I wonder why I put it in the number three and it saw me in this uh, in this slot in the first slot it doesn't see me but it's working okay uh, let's let's see uh, in the USB configuration leave it like this 
I disable it uh, for example my Wi-Fi control because I don't need it I have the router uh, this is for enabling and uh, turning on your computer from uh, wool wake up online okay these temperatures are control them from uh, the ASUS program so you can control it from the BIOS or uh, your ASUS program in Windows it's, and this best to control it from there and now here put one second to pause delay so not wait with that uh, logo ASUS logo uh, keep current and select at hard drives the SSD so this is the configuration for optimization so in benchmark with uh, AIDA 64 extreme we managed to make the full benchmark of the memory of the uh, CPU of the GPU unit and we have like this so at the report with uh, over this overclocking with the water cooling we have the processor here and it's the same processor here and I don't know how uh, my processor is weaker with the Rampage Extreme. At the writing of memory we have 24 gigs of uh, information per second. With the copying we have 35 gigs of, uh, of memory. 65 nanoseconds uh, is the legacy time. And now with CPU Queen we have the third with PhotoWorks CPU here is the uh, our CPU and with this next program here is our processor I don't know the values are good the processor is in the top but I'm still I'm a little bit disappointed with this uh, super PCs because um, it looks very good the components are very 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 nice uh, looking good I are top components in our days but for example guys and I want to make a, a test with you we will render a full HD at 50 I interlaced at 24 megabytes per second with hardware encoder with uh, 6090 Nvidia so if you see guys um, for two minutes of rendering the system with uh, this configuration is optimization took 55 seconds the same rendering the same project the same testing with my old system uh, it took one minute and two seconds so so I have to mention I many sometimes 50 seconds of uh, rendering I don't know in what conditions so this is what I'm talking about producers didn't make these systems for better performance they made it for design for as expect that great aspect of uh, the pieces of the components of the PC so they didn't make for performance and this is a problem for me my old uh, system for rendering and video processing were looking awful I had an awful PC case cut the uh, PC case heated uh, uh, even the paint was gone in some uh, places but overclock that 260k Intel i7 was mind-blowing I, I managed to compared to a e5 I had before I managed to uh, get a great great performance but with this system in three or four years compared to that uh, system I bought it uh, three years or four years ago I didn't manage to get this great performance I was expecting so this is more marketing at the components extreme in naming extreme the asus name extreme the, the main boards you know so this is kind of foolish for these producers to make this and i want to be very honest with you guys and uh, tell you what uh, do you what to expect when you buy an amount a new super pcs like everybody says like we said in the in the title but it's not uh, that super uh, after all it's great it's good looking it's uh, good it's for it, per, the performances are good but it's not best I hoped uh, for example at the rendering to be at the half of the time 
I used it with a 260K Intel. It's a fine processor with ASUS Rampage, it works, but it's not a mind blowing. So another example is uh, Adobe After Effects. So a uh, clip in older computer, I have rendered and I want to show you here. You can see with GPU, 12 minutes, 70 minutes, 80 minutes, 60, maybe less, 60, 70. So now with the new system we managed to take out from the Adobe After Effects 9 minutes so for 3 minutes it's okay it's okay but it's not uh, it will be mind blowing by the time to be split it in two so at the half of rendering for example uh, from the 12 minutes to the 6 minutes would be great with this uh, three years or four years of um, improving the technology of uh, producers and uh, buying yourself a good pc so in the video editing i tested with four programs and i only managed to achieve is 15 with or 20 percent and with this uh, 3000 and uh, 500 euros i was expected better uh, from this this uh, new new pc with high quality with top quality in Asus Rampage version 5 uh, extreme the 1690 GTX from uh, Nvidia graphics card which is very very good and the SSD the 520 from Intel SSD and it's a very very good computer we use some parts we use the source we use the, the uh, uh, graphics card uh, from the old one to the new one let me tell you something interesting all in all parts i think this is more marketing that than uh, performance it's more images is more to be able uh, now the producers put accents for example on the power supplies to be modular more modular means that the wires are not uh, convenient this is not a modular source uh, and uh, you cannot uh, put the wires you are convenient with but you know the case it's uh, perfectly mounted and the wires you got to put it on the left side on the left panel and they are not showing up so you see the airflow is perfect here and here now with uh, with our uh, cooler master water cooling solution what was mind-blowing and uh, it was uh, a performance indeed it was the GeForce GTX 690 so this card gives a great great performance like uh, US expected but but the ASOS Rampage 5 Extreme, it's from the Republic of Gamers, but it had to be best in uh, video editing too, because you know it's in the extreme parts, in the best parts by ASOS, uh, and the expensive one too. So uh, if you have ideas, I show you the uh, how to mount, I show you the overclocking. If you have advices, why not? We will listen to you your advice maybe we didn't do something very very good uh, at the software because at the hardware we put everything best so maybe we is a setting because you know the bios of the asus is very very big and um, it has a lot of details so maybe we didn't uh, pay attention to a, a detail so we will uh, listen to your advice if you have advices please let us know in the comments box so um, you video editors so photoshop editors with pictures tell us more if you have the rampage for five the version the these new pcs tell us how is the performance because i myself i'm not very satisfied with this pc it's a super pc but i expected a little more from uh, from it so thank you guys that uh, you watch with us this tutorial it uh, i hope it will help you mount all the pieces all the parts uh, great together so please thumbs up guys if you like this video uh, please subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and reviews we are i technology reviews you got to love technology because technology is part of our lives see you guys bye